Yo, what's going on guys? This is Jeremiah here and today I'm playing Subnautica again. I know, I know the last episode was a Subnautica video, maybe. I'm not actually sure. I'm recording this directly after the uh, Subnautica video. Playing with Caleb for a little while, he might have to leave in just a little bit, I don't know. But I've been really enjoying this game a lot. So, you know, I, want, I wanted to play it again, wanted to record it. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it as well. It seems like I'm getting more people that are enjoying it. But anyway, in this episode, I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do, but I do wanna build this base more and actually go into the Aurora. So I'm, I'm going to get the fire extinguisher, the laser cutter, and then I think I should have everything to actually go into the Aurora from the side and not go into the front of it like I did last time and may or may not have gotten attacked by a Reaper Leviathan. If you haven't seen that, you should... Probably, probably go see it. Basically, I think the next thing on my list is just to find diamonds. I think I might be able to help you with that. Pretty sure there's only one of the heat vents. Alright, I got to the heat vent. The, uh, at least in the safe shallows. From the heat vent, you'll want to travel out to southwest. So you make it to the cliffs. Southwest, almost. okay. Until I make it to some cliffs. You leave kind of the kelp forest. Okay. And you kind of find these rock spires. There's probably going to be some bone sharks nearby. Okay. I'm not seeing any right now. And you'll see tons of rock out all right, I found all the the, the spires you're talking about. What is and then this? if you go past those, you'll see kind of these blue glowing spheres that are floating in the water, but being tethered down by vines. Oh, yep, I see those. That's the beginning of the Grand Reef. And I don't want to go in there. <laughs> Unless you want to brave it, but there's <laughs> a lot more dangerous stuff in there than normal. Kind of sketchy over here. I'm hearing all these groans and stuff like okay that's fantastic so, but oh yeah, that's weird the, i just found a diamond so you oh. definitely can't find diamonds here being fairly cautious here because it's very dark is it night oh yeah it's very it's night <laughs> definitely night time <laughs> it's very scary i'm seeing the lithium Man. yeah and if you just break i think it's the basalt outcrops that's where you can find diamonds and that is very close to those blue balls or whatever. The Great Reef. You can go a little ways in because the edges of the reef actually aren't all that dangerous. It's kind of confusing because my life pod is... Wait a minute! My life pod is in a different spot this time! I think it's back where it was. Oh yeah, my life pod is back where it was. <laughs> what? Okay. Yet again, we're getting water. I feel like it takes a lot of water. Like you have to drink a lot? Yeah. Now I'm gonna go back to that spot and try to find some diamonds. Aha! Yeah, I can actually see things now that it's daytime. <laughs> when I started, it was it was night. Did you say southeast or southwest? Um, cause that is not what I want. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, I might have gone the wrong way, cause that is a Reaper Leviathan chasing something. <laughs> okay, I don't see it anymore. Oh yeah, I was going towards the back of the uh, Aurora. Yeah, it's southwest. Okay. Hello, Bone Shark. <laughs> I will go southwest. <laughs> Saw the Reaper Leviathan and was like, wait a minute. This isn't right. Yeah. Yep, southwest is the way to go. Bit of good. Aha. There's the Great Reef. I'm getting the music from the Great Reef. <laughs> Dude, this game is so cool. I like this game so much. I love the sound in this game. Yeah, I, I say I, in that other video, I, I was like, yeah, I haven't played a horror game yet or whatever. Never played a horror game, but Subnautica is uh, kind of scary sometimes. <laughs> Look at this. That scared me for a sec. This is the Great Reef. There's oh. another diamond. <laughs> Caleb, can you leave some diamonds for me, man? <laughs> Ooh, little fish keep bumping into my... Whoa! Okay. What? Uh, teleporting monster. <laughs> the warpers. Yep. Not very fond of those. That's that's one of several dangerous entities that are in the uh, Grand Reef. Yeah, Grand Reef. Well, I'm finding lithium. That's good. I'm gonna get like a bunch of comments saying you missed diamonds. <laughs> you missed diamonds. Well, you can't actually see the diamonds themselves though because. Oh, do because you have to break these? They're in the bas yeah, they're in the basalt. Oh. <laughs> the lithium is out on its own. Okay. Okay. I was expecting to just see them oh, okay no. i thought that might be part of your troubles yeah <laughs> i'm gonna start actually breaking these now yeah, all the right. basalt outcroppings do blend in with the surrounding area wait 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 not limestone yeah no okay it's kind of a black outcropping the limestone okay. i think will give you like some copper and stuff maybe i'm not looking hard enough for these darker ones well like i said they blend in like pretty much perfectly with the Rock that they're attached to. They're almost black. Okay, it's starting to get dark again. <laughs> oh, inventory full. Okay, so now that I have all this lithium, I can make some reinforcements. And the prawns do both require plasteel, so. Okay. 
it's a very handy resource to have. Whoa, whoa. But Dude, a reinforcement adds 14. Holy cow. It's the best one out there. Yeah, it's now the my- way to reinforce your base. Now my base is at like 22. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure how to use this upgrade station just yet. It is makes it the some... table one or the one inside the sea, the moon pool? There, it's the one inside the moon pool. Do I have to make, is there another one that I can make? Uh, yeah, there's a table okay. uh, modification station. Sadly, for some odd reason, they're named the same exact thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it allows you to up to upgrade stuff like your knife, your air tanks, fins. Oh, um, so that's how I upgrade those. What's this? I urinite crystal? Uh, yeah, I've got that. A highly radioactive mineral. Should it's I not have it on me? <laughs> no, it won't hurt you. Okay. But it Ooh. does, it is used for other stuff. So you might want to pick up at least a little bit of that. I found the basalt. I am right next to the Great Reef. That's why I found it, I think. I think the Grand Reef has more of it. Diamond! Yes! Nice. Okay. <laughs> Apparently for all the stuff that I've broken and gathered, I owe Altera like 3 million credits. All right, cool. All right, so I should have everything I need to make the laser cutter. Awesome. So we found a diamond. Personal tools. What do we need? What else do we need for the laser cutter? Uh, battery and cave sulfur, which I just need to make a battery really because I have cave sulfur. Yep, there we go. Cave sulfur. In fact, I'm going to grab, uh, I'm going to make multiple batteries because I've been needing batteries. Well, if you explore the Aurora, you'll actually get a ton of Oh, okay. Now that we have the laser cutter, or we're about to have the laser cutter, I'm gonna go explore the Aurora. Is there like a, there's a door on the side, right? Or something on, on the side of it? Uh, no. You no. have to actually go into a place that's closer to the front. Okay. And go into the broken section. Okay. And then there'll be a piece of, or actually two pieces of metal that kind of used to be floors or structural pieces. Okay. And you want to walk up onto those and then just follow the path up to the entrance. Okay. All right. All right. I'll go up there again. Approach it from the side. I think last time I just didn't go up there mostly because I like all those crabs were up there and it's like, oh, I'm going to find a different spot. And as I was going away, there was a Reaper Leviathan. Yeah, it was scary, man. All right, I'm ready. We're going in. Do you happen to remember uh, what the Reaper Leviathan looked like when it attacked you last I mean, sounded like when it attacked you last time? Yes. I'm pretty sure I know what it sounds like. Okay, so I'm a good point. When you hear that, that means it's attacking you and don't turn around. Okay. Just look it. Just go. Because <laughs> if you turn around, they'll get you. All right. All right, we are approaching from the side. Okay, we are right on the side of the Aurora. Gonna try to get in the front. We're listening for the roar. Here's an entrance right here. Here we go. Super shaky. All right, we are here, inside, in in the little area that you were talking about. Hello, little crab guys. Go away. <laughs> no one loves you. No one loves you. Have you found the repulsion cannon yet? Or the no. repulsion? Yeah. And you kind of climb up it and just kind of follow the wreckage. Oh, oh, you'll okay. You'll be pretty high above the water. I'm following the this wreckage. The one you're looking for should be mm. on the left side. Yes, okay, I'm here. Ah, here we go. Oh yeah, I'm going up. I found it. I need to turn these beacons off though. There we go. Should That's much better. Of... Cool. Yeah, that should help. <laughs> yes, that is much better. Whoa! <gasps> uh, I fell into the water. <laughs> I glitched through it or something. I don't know. I might have just fallen through like a tiny little hole. Ah, we gotta climb all the way back up. Okay, here we go, guys. We're getting in here. Fire, ex fire extinguisher. Okay, we are inside the ship. It is a little laggy in oh. here. Yep, lots of batteries for sure. Propulsion cannon fragment. Get out, fire. I need to get through this door. No one loves you. Whoa. Still fire there. Found the data terminal. Download data. Altera launches the Aurora. Blah, 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 blah. Another PDA. All right, now let's go this other way. Uh, that was the administration. Now we're going to the cargo bay three, I'm pretty sure. No telling where we're actually going to end up. We got our knife out so we can stab any monsters that come for us. The Aurora is actually one of the safer places in the map. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Subnautica parkour. <laughs> what you're talking about. Wait a minute. There's a passcode here. How do I get the passcode? Check out the PDA you picked up. Ah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Codes. Oh, note to self. Here we go. 1454 cargo bay cord. code. So 1454. Let's test it. Let's see, guys. 1454. 
I hear it. Yep, it is unlocked. Open door. Here we are, guys. We are in the cargo bay. You got your scanner, right? I do have my scanner, yes. Aha! Cyclops Steve. engine fragment. You can find the Cyclops engine fragment in there? I did, yeah. So not a good parkour! Here we are, guys. Underwater yet again. <laughs> oh, please don't hurt me, little biter fish. Ooh. Down here. Ooh, we found the drive core. I think we have to just cool. patch this up. This is the pickup Cyclops engine efficiency module. Let's repair this right now. Containment beach <laughs> prepared. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> what? I just used the repulsion cannon on a crab snake and it just blasted it away. Like I hit it and suddenly it was gone. <laughs> we can't have this leaking radiation all the time, man. I'm gonna kill all the alien life forms, which, you know, if it's a Reaper Leviathan, yeah, I'm totally cool with that. Oh, yep, here we go. Seven more breaches to fix. Fix it on. Oh, hello. Go away. Go away. Get wrecked. Well, there's a lot of these little guys. The you go away. No one loves you. No one loves you. I don't love you. Stop trying to kiss me with your gross little fangs. <laughs> yeah. Repairing the breaches. Man, we are very skilled. <laughs> we can just <laughs> repair this so easily, man. Requires so little knowledge. Or maybe we are like, we have a, a bunch of knowledge. I don't know. The game so far at least doesn't get into the backstory of the actual cure. That might be kind of interesting. Almost done repairing this. We have two more breaches to repair. One more. All right, one more breach detected. Here we are, here it is. Let's get this thing patched up completely. Stop this radiation from leaking out everywhere. Drive core breach sealed. Radiation levels decreasing. Very good. Yes. Now you won't have to worry about wearing that radiation suit anymore. Okay, I gotta wait for it to go all the way down. Well, now. yeah, you gotta wait for it to dissipate, but once it does, which awesome. it actually doesn't take too long for that to happen. I'm and excited. As far as I know, you don't need it anymore. Oh, this music, man. So satisfying, we, man. We we did so much. We've gone. We've come so far. Let's cut open this door here really quick. We got another door we can cut open. Oh, got a PDA. Aurora's auxiliary mission orders. Damage wiring. Use repair tool. Okay, so I just gotta use the repair tool for this. Oh, I don't need a password. Look at those prawn suits. Let's get these bad boys scanned up. Ow. Yeah. <laughs> Fire. <laughs> can I scan this? Ooh, prawn suit fragment. Here we go. All right, we got uh, one of these bad boys scanned up. Well, there's some more down there. Some prawn, prawn suit fragment. How many do we need? Uh, two or four. Twenty of the arms, four of the main body. I have two out of four fragments. Yeah, sadly, it doesn't sh in the PDA doesn't differentiate, but okay. you gotta find twenty of the prawn suit arms for some other reason. Twenty others. arms. Yep. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh, here's another prawn suit oh, fragment. No. Three out of four for that. I just found the lost river. The lost river? <laughs> yep. What? And I am not ready to go in there yet. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hear that's a fairly bad place. Can I scan this? Yes, I can. A moeboid? A blueprint available prawn suit. New blueprint acquired. Huh? Yeah, I got a blueprint for a prawn suit. <laughs> Oh, maybe it's either or, like you scan 20 of the arms or four of the main body. I scanned four bodies. Keep oh, calm, poster. <laughs> oh, hair, beds. Yes, I can get a bed now. Jeez. Drop that, I don't need that. And one. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was weird. The fire extinguisher that I dropped was pushing me into the fire. That is literally the opposite of what you're supposed to do, <laughs> fire extinguisher. <laughs> God, get off of me. No one loves you. No one loves you. Yeah. I already have a Seamoth. I don't, don't need Seamoth fragments. Ah, but I will take this. What is this? Death module mark one. Okay, so my hope is that I don't have a Reaper Leviathan out there gnawing on my uh, my Seamoth. Whoa. Massive wreckage. Uh oh. Don't go down here. Uh oh. Okay, I had fallen. I was like, please, nothing down there while I'm down there. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Captain. Alright, I'm getting out of this hole. I don't need to be here anymore. I'm booging out of here. Whoa, what did I just hit? I'm stuck. What is happening? Whoa! Uh oh. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Please nothing come for me. Whew. That was sketchy. Alright. Use vehicle bait. Vehicles. Bronze suit. Aluminum dioxide crystal. Plasteel aerial gel and lubricant. Uh, we got a radio message. Let's read this really quick. High priority automated message from LifePod 13. Coordinates attached. LifePod contains the last known remains of high priority Mongolian passengers. Send immediate burial detail. Okay, so we need to go to LifePod 13, apparently. LifePod 13, 1,121 meters away. I don't really know what is out northwest. I wonder how scary it is out there. Out in that direction is, I believe, the sparse reef and part of the Grand Reef. 
And also, let's uh, let's let's uh, let's customize our little our, our sea moth here. This is the second one. What should we call it? What should we call our little sea moth? His name will be Judge. Billy Bob, Billy Bob Mark One. His vehicle colors. <gasps> no, 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 no. Okay, so his, his main color. He's gonna be purple. His stripes gonna be green. All right, Billy Bob Mark One interior. Oh, we can change the interior as well. The interior is gonna be a light blue. <laughs> there we go. All right, Billy Bob, let's go. Billy Bob Mark One Explorer guy. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna expand it this way, uh, the base this way a little bit so that I can build a room for planting. So let's see, how much titanium do I have? I don't have any in here. Uh, nothing in there. I have like no titanium. So I guess I need to go find a bunch of titanium. Hey, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> hey, get off my base. Get off, get off, little guy. <laughs> All right, there we go. So if we come out here, Hello, how's it going? <laughs> You're right where I want to build, sir. Hey, hey, go away, go away. All right, fine, don't go away. I see how it is. <laughs> uh, ooh, we should build a bed. That's what we should build. Here, let's scan the reef back really quick. We haven't scanned him. I built a T compartment and I put it right there. Going like that or an X? Ah, I think I'm gonna build X. X compartment, plop it right. Go away, little guy. Little guy, go away. Aha, whoa. Where'd he go? <laughs> Did I just, I just, he's gone. He is non-existent anymore. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, it was great knowing you little reef back guy. I'm sorry. <laughs> he's gone. He's gone forever now. And I think, oh, a little biter fish, go away. No one loves you. No one loves you. No one loves you. Where are you at? Where are you at, huh? Come at me, fight me, fight me. Let's go, put your fists up, let's go. Come at me, bro. No one loves you. That's some nice oxygen right there. Boom. There we go. That looks cool now. What happens if I put a multi-purpose room on top of a multi-purpose room? Let's try it out. See what happens. What happens when you put multi-purpose room on top of multi- Okay, should do it. Aha, yes. Look at this. Now we're up here. Yay. We have a whole strength of 60. <laughs> yes. There's so many of them. Ah! <laughs> I just... Okay, hello. Wow. That was a lot. Fish just swam through my base. Fish are swimming through my base. There we go. Boom, look it up. We got a bunch of grow beds here. Seek fluid intake. Oh, I don't have water. Let's go check to see if our machine has gotten the water yet. Ooh, it's filling up right now. Large filtered water. Look at that. Well, look at this. Large filtered water. How much does this do? Ooh, that does a lot. Yes. Awesome. This is this is really cool. I like this. We should definitely make it to where we can make that room just like filled with those water uh, makers, whatever. The base is, uh, it's kind of coming together. It's kind of coming together. I'm liking it so far. We're going to have to do some organization and stuff. Off camera, I might work on it a bit. But yeah, so far this is looking pretty awesome. It's, it's looking pretty cool. We've got it going pretty well. All right, let's see what the radio says. Sunbeam. All survivors, We've covered more than, more than half the difference. So hold it. So they're halfway here. Scanning the planet for dry land as we speak. Okay, they're looking for dry land. Oh boy. Okay, so they're, they're looking for a landing site. They're about halfway here. Hopefully, they'll be able to come and pick us up. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. That's going to be for the next episode, for the next time that we play. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying it. If you are, make sure to leave a like down below. I really appreciate it. It makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. <laughs> Have an awesome, wonderful day. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.